Planet Wine & Co. presents The Possible Alteration of the Wine. Alterations in wine can occur in color, smell, and taste. The causes that lead to defects are microbial, chemical, and physical in origin. Often these causes combine with each other in a very dangerous combination. Microbial alterations are the most dangerous because they can be transmitted to other wines with which they come in contact, for example, poorly washed containers. Alterations lead to a change in the composition of the wine caused by the activity of microbes that will cause a depreciation of organoleptic characters. Factors favoring the onset of problems are low alcohol content, less than 12 degrees, low acidity, pH less than 3.5, residual sugar, low sulfur concentration, few tannins, high nitrogen availability and high temperature. Grape sorting with the elimination of injured parts and cellar hygiene are cornerstones for obtaining healthy quality wine. Possible alterations in wines are represented by Fioretta, manic fermentation or lactic spurt, rim disease or turned, and assessants. Fioretta is manifested by the formation of a thin white or pink layer on the surface of the wine, which becomes thicker and thicker as time passes until it falls off and precipitates to the bottom, then recreates itself again on the surface. The agents that cause this disease are four fungi, Candida, Pechia, Ancinula, and Bretonomyces. All require air to cause Fioretta, and some can form spores and or ferment. Wine diseased with Fioretta develops a strong unpleasant acetic odor and tends to lose its alcohol content. It is therefore advisable to keep containers filled to the brim at all times or to equip them with filler stoppers. In case one notices that the wine has been affected by Fioretta, it is necessary to perform a filtration and then a racking into a new clean and sulfated container. Lactic Q, or mannite fermentation, is characteristic of warm areas, and favorable conditions in addition to high temperature are excess sugar in the must and low acidity of the grapes. Mannite is formed from fructose by the intervention of heterofermentative lactic acid bacteria. The lactic acid bacteria attacking the sugars transform them into acetic and lactic acid, resulting in a sweet and sour taste. Prevention from the disease must be exercised starting with winemaking by observing that fermentation takes place at low temperatures, carrying out sulfitation, correcting the low acidity of the musts with tartaric acid, vinifying in small vessels, and refrigerating if necessary. In today's times, rim or shot disease is extremely rare and may be present only in low alcohol wines derived from Peronospora and Botrys infected grapes. The wine takes on a dark, dull color and is cloudy. There are waves and silky filaments due to the bacteria presenting a gelatinous appearance to the deposit. The development of carbon dioxide and increased pressure can burst the bottle. The odor is highly variable. The lactic aroma is unpleasant with hints of vanishing and acetic acid. Prevention is exercised by the use of timely racking and several techniques can be adopted to restore the wine such as pasteurization, refermentation, and sulfitation. Sulfur dioxide must be administered in the early stages of fermentation due to abnormal lactic acid bacteria, otherwise the defect will be irreparable. Sulfur dioxide is obtained industrially from the combustion of pyrites and sulfur and is a colorless gas with a suffocating odor very soluble in water. In enology, it is used for its antioxidant, antioxidase, selective action on microorganisms, antiseptic, solubilizing, and extractive action. In red winemaking, it is useful for extracting anthocyanins and phenols from the mark. In organic wines, lysosome is used instead of sulfur dioxide. 
Acidic Q, or acescence, is evidenced chemically by volatile acidity caused by acetic bacteria such as Acetobacter and Gluconobacter. Ethyl acetate is the characterizing molecule for the olfactory aspect of the acetic Q, and only secondarily does acetic acid arise. Fixed acids, namely malic and lactic decrease and glucose attacked by the bacteria, becomes gluconic acid. Acetic bacteria require a large amount of oxygen and also a temperature between 18 degrees Celsius and 28 degrees Celsius and an alcohol content of less than 13 degrees, although still sugary residues predispose to the disease. The odor, similar to that of torn leaves of geranium, is given by a substance formed by reaction between ethyl alcohol and sorbic acid, while the mouse odor is created by the development of Brettanomyces yeasts and some heterofermentative lactic acid bacteria that form odorous compounds belonging to the tetrapyridine group. Acetic Q is prevented by vineyard and cellar hygiene, and if making red wine, by the techniques of fulling and pumping over. This marks the end of the video presentation by Planet Wine & Company dedicated to the possible alteration of wine. We eagerly anticipate your presence in our upcoming video. The adventure of Planet Wine & Company will proceed by exploring the incredible journey of wine tasting. Get ready for fun as well as learning. Be sure not to miss the forthcoming video unveiling a new narrative. A strong and warm hug to all of you. Enjoy watching and listening to Planet Wine and Company. Bye, see you next time.